not this body, because it will be no more. What's out there, what I'm putting on the line in front of 40,000 fans, in front of millions of Japanese watching television all over the country, is my pride, my guts, and my heart. Because you don't become the king of the death match by knowing all the moves. You become the king of the death match by kicking out of all the moves, by denying pain, denying suffering, hoping that you can kid yourself just long enough. I'm feeling good, you know, and Cactus, you're going down, boy. You are going down right here in Kawasaki Stadium. And I mean what I say, Jack. Call him Mick Foley, you can call him Mankind, you can call him Duke Love. This is Cactus Jack at his prime. King of the Death Matches tournament continues from 1995 Kawasaki Baseball Stadium. As the most infamous hardcore wrestler, I dare say, in American wrestling history, Cactus Jack goes one on one with the former Freebird, Terry Bam Bam Gordon. Matt Byron, this match here is the one that put Cactus Jack on the map. This is the one that made him a hardcore ten, legend. If you look at the nine, man's face here, eight, there's barely a mark seven, on it compared to what it is. Six, today. And he's taken out one of the toughest four, son of a bitches three, in the history of two, pro wrestling one. in Terry Bam Bam Gordy. Nobody stood toe to toe like Bruiser, with Bruiser Brody like Terry Bam Bam Gordy. This is, let me get it out here, a barbed wire baseball bat, thumbtack oh. death match, and there's that baseball bat. Oh, but he's just pounding it into the trapezius and neck area of Cactus Jack. Jack is real, and I don't think he really, he knew what he was getting into here, but I mean, I guess you don't really know until you feel it. And he's feeling every bit of those big right hands from Terry Bam Bam Gordy. Later in life, Bam Bam switched his focus. He became more of a hardcore wrestler, became more of a deathmatch superstar. He went more from sweet science into the pure brawling. He was already brilliant at brawling, and he stepped it up a mat a notch in the King of the Death Match tournament. He is just a 320 pound country hustler. There it is! Oh, he just, oh, there missed, it just missed that hip toss. That probably would have been it. Cactus Jack, uh, uh, there's an angel on his shoulder here on that one. There's, how did he avoid hitting that uh, few thousand thumbtacks as he sticks a thumb into Terry Gordy's eye and takes over? I think it's just, let's call it what it is. Right hands from uh, Cactus Jack, Mick Foley. The account of this night, you've probably read it in Mick's autobiography, Have a Nice Day, his infamous persona, Cactus Jack. Look at those right hands across the temple of Terry Gordy. And I'll tell you, you got to give Cactus Jack here kudos because not too many people have had Terry Gordy in that spot. Look at Terry Gordy. He's half nuts. He's just a country hoss. He's a brawler, man. Like that unbelievable resilience <laughs> his face looks like he got a half a bottle of jack daniels in him and he's ready to do some damage in a roadhouse on saturday night and this is a roadhouse with barbed wire baseball bats and thumbtacks and here they come and foley fighting for his life here can you imagine if those thumbtacks went into his eye thousands upon thousands of thumbtacks this isn't just a little satchel of them this isn't like you see on monday or thursday night this is a slew of thumbtacks you can barely avoid them in the center of the ring from the very beginning of the match. Boot by Terry Gordy, look out. Here it comes. Face buster, oh, no. no. I mean, you're fighting for sheer life there. But look, I don't know if you notice this, but Foley's opened up over his left eye. And I don't think that Terry Gordy's hit him with anything yet, but those fists, you can tell the impact. And Terry Gordy going right like a rabid dog, going right at that injured eye, trying to take Cactus Jack out, because at this point in Terry Gordy's career, if he wins this deathmatch tournament, imagine where he'd be today. God rest his soul. Amen. God rest his soul. Mick was able to uh, fight his way out by uh, sending Terry Gordy in the ring post. Stuns Terry. Wants to send him in those thumbtacks. There you go. Backdrop oh, driver. They both escaped those. There's got to be. Thumbtacks are small. There's got to be 5,000 thumbtacks in that box. Look, look at the face of, of Cactus oh, Jack. God. His oh, eye framed oh, in blood. As he backdrops Terry Gordy out over the top rope to save his own hide. He looks like the lead singer of the Misfits. With that, with that gore smeared across his face. And now, uh-oh, Mick's going up. Dear God. 
every time he does this, I've heard Robert Fuller, I've heard Kevin Sullivan, I've heard all kind of old timers in the business say a human body should not make those kind of things that we just heard come out of Mick Foley's body, out of Cactus Jack's body, is he literally flew 10 feet in the air straight down to the concrete on the infield here of Kawasaki Stadium in Japan. Nothing to break his fall, nothing to hang on to, no way to protect himself, his back, his poor broken back, has been injured in so many ways by so many men, took the full impact of that, and Terry follows him into the corner, oh, big lariat. Beautiful lariat. Sends him in one more time, Cactus Jack Lovely, wearing those uh, cowboy boots to protect his uh, feet from those thumbtacks. Oh, his face is, oh, and he uh, stops his head he right in there. Drove the thumbtacks into the temple of poor Cactus Jack. Can you imagine the sting? Oh, Look at dear. Him screaming oh. in pain. Oh, with about 50 thumbtacks jammed in his temple. Unbelievable, but he's fighting back. What a dangerous, dangerous man. What a dangerous persona. You want the personification of a death match? You want the personification of ultra violence? Take a good look at it. Take a good hard look. Paying the price, making his way is Cactus Jack, pulling the thumbtacks from his flesh as he grabs hold of that barbed wire bat. Now he's bleeding on the right side of his head. Oh, and he jams that barbed wire into the face and forehead of Terry Bam Bam Gordy. He's not running Mid-South right now. He's in Japan, and he's feeling what ultraviolence is all about. 300 pounds of Cactus Jack right across the back of the neck. And here comes following up that big leg drop. Oh, see the head snap. The personification of Mick Foley's Cactus Jack character. High impact offensive maneuvers and incredible bumps. There's that reversal. Oh, and clothesline right over the top of the barricade. Cactus is able to stop himself the last minute from taking the impact of that guardrail, but he couldn't save himself from that big lariat from Bam Bam. Oh, it gets his face slammed right into the table and another meat hook from Terry Gordy. What are they going to do the here? We're up on the tables. We've seen this in Memphis so many times. The pile driver through the table. It's coming. Oh, and oh, that table oh. didn't give. Did you see Foley's body crumble like he was folded in half? He was oh. not saved by that table giving way underneath. That table held up and Mick's head, Cactus Jack's head, took the full force of that pile driver. There's a lot of pride here on the line. These guys really want to win this King of the Deathmatch tournament, and you got to give them a lot of respect and nothing but kudos because, dear Lord, the, the damage they're inflicting on each other here, knowing that they've got to advance and wrestle again. And each time they go out there, the matches get more and more brutal. And more and more insane. More and more oh, weapons. No, Look out. No. Thunderfire oh, powerbomb. And there it is. The thumbtacks have done their damage. And look at Terry Corny. And look at the fans go. But there's got to be 500 thumbtacks stuck into the back and head and face of, of Cactus Jack. And now a power, no, not another powerbomb, I think. He just dropped him right oh, there. Oh, there's no giving that. Oh, look at the jam in his temples. Nope, he's in the ropes. They can't legally they can't count, count it. That. Isn't that something? You could drop a guy on top of 10,000 thumbtacks, but he grabs the ropes. you got to break the count. Gypsy Joe saving Cactus's uh, life. And he's got a handful of thumbtacks. Oh, he throws him into the eyes of Terry Gordy. Like there's no break or something. How would you like to get a handful of thumbtacks fired right into your face? How about this? No, no thanks. One, oh God, no. two, and that's it. It's three. Your winner, he's going to advance into the next round and did something that not many men can say. He beat Terry Gordy. Your winner is Cactus Jack. He beat Terry Gordy, but the beating isn't over yet. The experience isn't over oh. yet. Oh, one more stomp, driving his face into those thumbtacks. Cactus escapes to fight another day. Well, today, as a matter of fact. Gordy's in hot pursuit.